morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. Registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural and nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension, Obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing and renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our phone number today and every day is 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in our second segment today. So get in early, 844-236-6010. Bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Tony Knudsen about his heart and body extract. Heart and body extract's been around for 14 years, I think, 14 or 15 years. And Tony and heart and body extract have helped thousands of people with heart health. We're going to talk to Tony about uh, about heart and body extract and some of his other products, male virility, uh, male virility extract, pain extract. He's going to tell us about the difference between tinctures and extracts and talk a little herbalism in the bottom of the hour. So we'll get your calls here in our second segment, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program today, or any day for that matter, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you want to sign up and join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a Longevity business, make some money selling Longevity products, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren, my webmaster. You can also check out criticalhealthnews.com, my new, my new blog with George Norrie, and also, of course, brightsideben.com. You can purchase any of the longevity products right off the website or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Okay, we'll talk to Tony in the bottom of the hour, Tony Knudsen in the bottom of the hour, and then we'll take your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. Continuing on with our discussion of the skin and what is perhaps the most important of the skin's non-fatty ingredients. The skin's largely a fatty organ and all the good stuff tends to be fatty. The moisturizing factors and the growth factors, they tend to be the fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids and especially cholesterol. We're going to talk a lot about cholesterol and the importance of skin. Did you know cholesterol is one of the most important skin moisturizers, natural skin moisturizers that the body makes. The skin, of course, makes its own moisturizers. Cholesterol is one of those moisturizers. But as far as water-soluble ingredients go, probably the most important of the water-soluble substances in the skin is hyaluronic acid. We've talked a lot about hyaluronic acid in the last few days. We'll continue discussing this very super mega important substance, not just for the skin. It's important for for the eyes, it's important for the joints, it's important for the digestive system. It's just ridiculously important stuff. When hyaluronic acid is broken down, it forms one of the most important of the body's detoxifying substances. So hyaluronic acid supplements are not just good for your skin and joints, but they're also really helpful for detoxification as well. That's oral nutritional supplements of hyaluronic acid and dietary hyaluronic acid. We'll tell you how you can get hyaluronic acid in food. But as far as skin goes, Hyaluronic acid used to be found only in, uh, used to be obtained only in rooster combs, which made hyaluronic acid very, very expensive. If you, if you squeeze your earlobe a little bit, you'll kind of feel what hyaluronic acid feels like when it absorbs water. It has a kind of spongy quality. I don't know if you've ever felt a rooster comb, but rooster combs kind of feel like an earlobe. They have a spongy, bouncy quality. And that spongy, bouncy quality 
is created by the combination of hyaluronic acid and water. When hyaluronic acid combines with water, it forms a jelly kind of substance. And that jelly bouncy substance is what gives its, the skin its plump nature, at least young, healthy skin its plump nature. And this is why hyaluronic acid has been so prized as a skincare ingredient. The problem is you can't get that spongy, bouncy quality by rubbing hyaluronic acid on your skin. Now, you can get a little moisturization, but to conflate these two ideas of hyaluronic acid's super importance for skin plumpness with topical use of hyaluronic acid is really it's kind of sneaky. It's kind of nasty. That's why hyaluronic acid in skincare products doesn't really do much because you're not going to get hyaluronic acid's real important qualities by rubbing it on the surface of the skin. Nonetheless, hyaluronic acid is found in a lot of products. It used to be found only in super expensive eye creams and dermatolo dermatological or dermatology products. And then we started to figure out how to exploit genetics from an industrial standpoint with something called recombinant DNA. That's when they start to manipulate the genes and the DNA of bacteria to get them to make things. One of the first recombinant DNA byproducts or products was insulin. And if you guys have ever heard of a type of insulin called humulin, that was the first of the recombinant DNA products that was used medically. They took a gene that makes insulin and they stuck it in a bacteria and then the bacteria made the insulin. And then they just carved off the insulin from the top of their bacterial vat. Hyaluronic acid is made the same way these days. And that's why hyaluronic acid is now found in a lot of products. Hyaluronic acid is found in products you can buy at Walmart and Walgreens and department stores and pretty much all over the internet. In fact, Neutrogena has been advertising one a lot on TV. Yeah, hyaluronic acid just become all the rage. Basically, because it is such important stuff internally, and because the price has gone down on it, now you're seeing it all over the place. It's pretty much the latest and greatest in terms of skincare ingredients. And as I say, Neutrogena is one of the more egregious examples of the sneakiness of the skincare business with their product they call it Hydra Boost. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. It's about 15 bucks for... I think two ounces of it, which is still kind of ridiculous con considering what you're getting. We're going to deconstruct the ingredient deck on Hydra Boost. So you can see what I'm talking about here. As I say, you're not going to really get much hyaluronic acid benefits. Now, if you see the commercial, they'll tell you all about how wonderful hyaluronic acid is, how important it is. But what they're not telling you is it's not getting to where it really needs to be by just rubbing it on the surface of the skin. There's nothing, nothing in this product, this Hydra Boost product, that's going to do anything for your skin from a health perspective. All it's going to do is make your skin feel a little bit soft. And it's not the hyaluronic acid that's doing it, as we'll talk about here in just a sec. Being an ingredient deck reader is super, super important. Always look at the ingredient deck. That'll tell you all you need to know about what a product is. Now, Understanding the ingredients, that's a whole different ball game. But understanding how the ingredient deck is constructed without even knowing what the individual ingredients specifically are or do can be very instructive. So let's take this thing, let's take this ingredient deck on Hydra Boost as an example. Hydra Boost, as I say, is a product made by Neutrogena. Neutrogena, as most of you know, is a skincare company. One out of three women in this country are using a Neutrogena product at some sometime during the year. Neutrogena generates uh, $1.5 billion a year in sales. $1.5 billion a year, a year in sales. Most of that is profit margin, and as you can tell, as you'll be able to tell once we talk about this ingredient deck. So, if you take the ingredient deck, you look at, uh, and this is true about all ingredient decks, by the way. They're always, uh, they're always printed from the, uh, the, most, the, high, the, the ingredient with the, most, the highest concentration to the ingredients with the lowest concentration. So the first ingredient on your ingredient decks are always, or for the most part, in a skincare product, you're going to be water. That's because most of your product is water. 80 to 90% is water. That alone tells you why bookkeepers and bankers and business people love the skincare business because basically they're selling you 90% water, 80% water. This particular product is probably on the order of 90% water. It's a gel. Gels are always going to have large concentrations of water. First ingredient, water. Second ingredient, probably in there around 5% or so. Silicon, third ingredient, glycerin. Fourth ingredient, silicon. Fifth ingredient, silicon. Sixth ingredient, can't read a thickener, polyacrylamide. But, uh, we'll continue when we come back from our break. And we'll take your phone calls as well. 844 236 6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking skincare on the bright side. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the bright side. We'll get your phone calls here in just a moment. 
So hang tight, 844-236-6010 is our number. Bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Tony Knutson of Heart and Body Health about some of his wonderful herbal products, including the heart and body extract. Maybe we get to, hopefully we'll talk about the pain extract and the male virility extract as well. We'll do that at the bottom of the hour, get to your calls here in just a moment. I wanted to deconstruct this ingredient deck. It's just so rude. It's 15 bucks, sure, for only two ounces. I think it's two ounces of gel. Uh, sure, that's not a lot of money, but you're not getting anything. The first ingredient right off the top of the bat is water. So if you take out 80% or actually this is a gel. Gels always have more water than creams and lotions. So 90% or so of this product is water. 90% is water. That would, well, well, how is this okay? By any, by any standards. The next ingredient, uh, silicon. The next ingredient, glycerin. The next ingredient, silicon. Next ingredient, more silicon. The next ingredient, a thickener called polyacrylamide. The next ingredient, another thickener, cetyr cetyryl olivate. It's like a wax thickener. Guess what the next ingredient is? More silicon. Then the next ingredient, a thickener. Then the next ingredient, a preservative. Then the next ingredient, uh, an emulsifying agent. Then the next ingredient, more silicon. Then the next ingredient, another emulsifying agent. Then the next ingredient, a thickener. Then the next ingredient, perfume. I haven't said anything about active ingredients yet. Then the next ingredient after the perfume, your high hyaluronic acid, probably on the order of 0.1 to 0.2%. Then the preservative, then another preservative, then another preservative. There's three different preservatives in this thing. This is crazy, you guys. And then uh, after that, you get into another thickener and then another thickener, a little bit of zinc, uh, probably as a preservative or a chelating agent to pre uh, preserve the product. Uh, sodium hydroxide, that's lye, a tiny little bit of that to balance out the pH. And then another preservative, and then another preservative. Oh my God, this is what people, this is what we're being sold by movie stars and actresses. It's a hyaluronic acid product called HydroBoost with 0.1 to 0.2% hyaluronic acid based on the ingredient deck. This is the skincare business in a nutshell. I'm not picking on Neutrogena. I'm just using them as a representative. Don't be fooled. You get just as much skin moisturization if you rubbed Cool Whip on your skin. Maybe more. All right. We're going to talk more about skincare. I want to get to some phone calls here, and then we're going to talk to Tony Knudsen from Heart and Body Extra, uh, of Heart and Body Extract at the bottom of the hour. 844-236-6010. Beth in Georgia, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hello. Hey, Beth. What's Hello. going on? Oh, wow. Lots of things been going on. <laughs> okay. All, uh, I, I, I need you to speak up, though. I'm having a hard time hearing you. All right. Hold on. Is that better? Uh, a little bit. Speak really loud. Is that better? Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. What's going okay, on? Okay, I'm sorry. I had you on speaker. Um, okay. okay. Uh, first of all, I am 58, menopausal. Okay. Um, I do bioidentical hormones, the Soto Pelle and oral progesterone. Okay. And I have had um, stage 2 skin cancer twice because okay. I've been out in the sun a lot. But, you know, I'm not real... Con my, my thing is... Um, uh, on areas where I have hair on my face, the um, eyebrow area, upper lip, and chin, um, and I have to tweeze and uh, so on and so forth, um, I have raw skin that just won't heal, and I believe it's a combination of hormonal and yeah. nutritional. Your skin's not healing, in other words. No, it, it, okay. it's constantly raw in those areas, and I have to spend about 30 minutes a morning, you know, peeling skin off, you know, off my face just to get it smooth. All right, two things you want to do, okay? Number one, you want to focus on fats and fat absorption and fatty vitamins. That is, when I say I've, fats, I, I mean... I've started to do that. With okay, good. My, what have you done? With, um, the, uh, oh, 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 the enzymes. Oh, okay. that's not fats, though. That that'll help you with the absorption. Oh no, oh, no, no, no. I, I I take I I take fat. I take uh, what do you do? Krill oil, and I okay. take astaxanthin, and um, that's not I really use... a fat, ma'am. Okay, here's the deal. It's okay. got some got a little bit of misunderstanding. Uh, you're okay. not quite understanding what I mean by fats. Astaxanthin's great, by the way, but it's not. It's a it's a carotenoid. It's a fatty substance, but it's not necessarily an essential fat. It's going to help you with your skin. 
Okay. Uh, the krill oil is great, but the problem with krill oil is you only get those tiny little capsules, which doesn't give you much krill oil. And you need a lot more than, unless you're taking 10 or 12 of those capsules a day, you need a lot more than you're going to get in a regular dose of krill oil to, to really do much for your skin. Another thing about uh, krill oil in the skin and fish oil in the skin is the skin doesn't really have a lot of omega-3 fats in it. It's the omega-6s that you're really looking for when it comes to skin okay. health. To a certain extent, omega-3s have anti-inflammatory benefits, but for the most part, omega-3 fats are brain fats, nerve fats, they're important for eye health, important for blood pressure and anti-inflammatory effects. But for healing, it's really an omega-6 issue, and certainly for moisturization, it's an omega-6 issue. So get yourself on the ultimate EFAs. That's what I would do. Uh, 9 to 12 a day, take them with food and with your digestive enzymes. That's first and foremost. Secondly, make sure you're using 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day, and that will help you with your menopause, menopausal symptoms too. Can, can I ask you a question? Uh, you know, we're going to run out of time. We're going to run okay, out of time, but you're ahead. welcome to ask. No, you have something you want to ask? Beta carotene or fish oil on the vitamin A? Uh, beta carotene is not vitamin A. Don't let anybody tell you it is. Anybody okay. who ever tells you that beta carotene is vitamin A needs to go back to nutrition school or biochemistry school. No, beta carotene can be converted into vitamin A if you're perfectly healthy, which most people are not. And so for the most part, you need the real deal, vitamin A. Beta okay. carotene is not vitamin A. It's a precursor to vitamin A. So okay. 20,000 IU of vitamin A, that's first of all. Secondly, uh, vitamin E, 400 international units of vitamin E. I'd be using the mixed tocopherol form. Make sure you're getting 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. And everybody listening, this is all important for all skin healing issues. Vitamin hey, A, vitamin that. E, essential fatty acids, zinc 50 milligrams a day. I'm sorry, did you say something, ma'am? Uh, I am doing that, the zinc. You're doing 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Stay on that. Yeah. Okay, make sure you're doing that. Get yourself some of my lipophilic fatty topical C. Put that on your skin on a regular basis. You can get that at truthtreatments.com. Uh, vitamin C balm, that's good for all skin healing, repairing the epidermal barrier. That's where your problem is, it sounds like anyway, is in the yeah. surface of the skin, in the epidermal barrier. And make sure that when you're taking your vitamin A and your vitamin E and your essential fats, that you're, number one, taking them with the enzymes and with your... Uh, and with your uh, meals, with uh, make sure there's some bile going on in your digestive system for absorption. And notice if you have gas or bloating or discomfort or some kind of digestive issues after you take your fats, those are all indicative of malabsorption. And it's very common that as we get older, especially as women get older, that uh, fat malabsorption comes along with that. So make sure you're taking, you're noticing if you have problems after you take your fats, your essential fatty acids and your, and your fatty vitamins. And then secondly, make sure you're taking them with your digestive digestive enzymes and with your meals. You should start to notice results, especially around, not just around healing, but also around skin moisturization. If you're dry, and you might even notice some benefits if you have hot flashes or any other menopausal symptoms. Well, let's know how you're doing with that too, by the way. Okay, Beth, I, gotta, I wanna take one more call before we go to our break. Yes, thank Thanks you so much, much. God bless you, Bye. have a beautiful day. All right, Rose, what's going on? We got uh, about a minute here. I'm sorry, I hate to do this to you, but what's going on, Rose? If not, let's extend it so next time because it's a very uh, detailed situation. Well, um, you, do you have I, a I complicated to, issue? Is there a complicated issue, have, Rose? Yeah, the issue has to do with somebody that has brain cancer. Um, wow. Let me, let, me help you, let me help you with brain cancer and cancer in general. Brain cancer is cancer, and that's the operative word, not the brain cancer, not the bone cancer. not the, It's the cancer. It doesn't matter if it's in the bone or the brain or the liver or anywhere else. It's the cancer. And cancer is a very tricky issue. It's a sign of a cellular system and ultimately a tissue organ that is under duress and has just freaked out and, is at, as I've said so many times, at its wit's end. Rose will have to cover that tomorrow. Uh, give us a call back. we got to talk to uh, Tony Knutson at the bottom of the hour. You're listening. More. We're back on the air here. I believe we are. I haven't heard the music. Okay, good. All right. I'm so excited to have our next guest on, Tony Knutson of Heart and Body, a manufacturer of Heart and Body Extract. Heart and Body Extract's been around for 15 years, helped so many people, thousands of people. Uh, if you got clogged arteries, congestive heart failure, any kind of heart problem, in fact, the way the ingredient deck is structured, any kind of health problem you're going to benefit, certainly any circulatory problem, you'll benefit from the heart and body extract. Please welcome to the Bright Side, Tony Knutson. Greetings, Tony. Good morning, Ben. How are you today? 
good to talk to you. So uh, we had a nice conversation on uh, on Saturday. Tony, you're Saturday from my morning, neck of the yeah. woods in New Jersey, or in Pennsylvania, actually. Uh, tell, tell folks how you got involved with the heart and body extract, and then I want to talk about some of the specific herbs and some of the stuff that, uh, that the product does. Sure, absolutely. Uh, I have a marketing background, and uh, about 16 years ago, I was doing some marketing, and uh, I happened to meet a, a very extraordinary person, Sharon Harris, and she had been exhibiting quite a few issues regarding her own personal health and her uh, dissatisfaction with traditional medicine. So she had put it upon herself to seek out a master herbalist in Canada and create her own product that could address cardiovascular issues. She suffered from an enlarged heart, some extreme swelling or edema, uh, onset of congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, just a myriad of issues that she had to contend with on a daily basis and was uh, dissatisfied with the the negative side effects the pharmaceuticals were causing her. So uh, she met with our master herbalist and they developed a relationship and over about a year's period of time developed the heart and body extract. And what it is, it's a uh, synergistically blended mix of herbs that are wild crafted that aid people with a a multitude of cardiovascular issues, the ones described uh, previously the Sharon heads and also congestive heart failure, clogged arteries, very good over a six to eight month period of time of actually eliminating blockages in arteries. Uh, Angina is a large issue that we deal with. People suffering from angina have very debilitating uh, reaction to taking uh, nitro patches or nitroglycerin pills, uh, most associated to having a severe migraine. So to alleviate some of those negative side effects that people always seem to deal with after developing the heart and body, I went into business with her and we decided to market it. I'd seen the results over six months and Sharon's health had improved dramatically. And I felt like there was no way I could afford not to get involved in this. So I stopped what I was doing, and Sharon graciously invited me to join her uh, in her pursuit to help others with the uh, benefits that she had received. And going back now, that's 15 years. Now, I love the way you guys formulate your products. You're not, you don't just put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You actually, you were explaining to me the difference between a tincture and an extract. Why don't you tell our listeners about that? I think there's, there's yeah, some what, confusion about that. What we do that. is we suspect our product in a very small, minute amount of alcohol. And I don't want people to get turned off when I use the word alcohol because our alcohol is actually the extract of a pear fruit. So it's even uh, alcohol in its purest form naturally. Is it grain from alcohol? The, uh, from the is it what they call itself. grain alcohol? Like a hundred, like uh, the, the super high concentrated alcohol? Very concentrated. Very. In fact, our ac- extracts are extremely well concentrated. They're usually associated as six to one, uh, six parts of the product to one part of a suspension uh, versus a tincture, which is mostly a water-based product with some of the ingredients in it, not nearly the amount of ingredients that we have. Uh, and, and what happens is that through our herbalist expertise has developed the product where uh, certain amounts extracted into high concentrations of each of the herbs, the way they're blended together is what makes it work so well. In and of itself, a lot of people can take hawthorn or even coleus extract and probably experience some benefit from that. But again, you have to watch when you... Uh, delve into taking individual herbs that you could actually take too much and do more harm than good to yourself, especially with Hawthorne. The Hawthorne is absolutely amazing stuff for the heart. It is. Uh, it truly th- is. There was a guy who wrote a book, and I'm trying to think of the name of it, where he talked about, he was an advertising executive, actually, and he, he had a heart attack, and I'll get the name of the book here when we come back from our break. Uh, he had a heart attack, and uh, and he started experimenting with Hawthorne, and he got off all his nitro meds and got all, off all his meds, actually, just by using Hawthorne. And, and i got to tell you, I've been working with herbs for many years. I, I had a compounding pharmacy where we wildcrafted and we tinctured uh, our own herbs. Um, we made our own herbal tinctures and herbal extracts. And you have got a, uh, just an amazing set of herbs. This thing is one of the best ingredient decks on an herbal product that I've ever seen, the heart and body extract particularly. Uh, you got in addition to the hawthorn. There's coleus, as you mentioned. That's a, uh, a really neat. Uh, I think that's a mushroom, isn't it? Is a fungus coleus? Coleus for scoli? Is that a? That's a. I'm pretty sure that's a mushroom. No. Well, I don't know which part of it that the herbalist used, but I believe you are correct. Um, yeah. So anyway, they ex- they tincture that out, and coleus has got. Not only does coleus have. Uh, 
have uh, have heart benefits, have circulatory benefits, but it's Absolutely. also it's it's a uh, anti-cancer, uh, pro-immunity, tropic action on the heart, which is going to help relax the muscles, and in turn, as you relax muscles, you're relaxing blood vessels, and that's uh, ideally suited for um, cases of mild congestive heart failure. And coleus, by the way, is a, I'm looking it up now. Coleus is not. A, I don't know why I was thinking it was a mushroom. It's a, it's actually a flowering plant. But in any case, the coleus is in there uh, for uh, for the circulatory benefits. But it also has anti uh, anti inflammatory benefits. It's got uh, pro immunity benefits. It's used as an anti cancer substance as well. And that's one of the neat things about when you work with herbal medicine is you get these multiple benefits, much like when you work with nutrition. I also noticed that you got kelp in there. Uh, talk talk a little bit about the benefits of kelp for the heart, if you could. Uh, it, it's, it's effective, ex- extremely effective on all the glands, but especially the thyroid gland. And I know, Ben, a lot of people might be wondering, ah, oh, kelp with everything that's going on in the uh, in the world here as of late. Uh, our kelp actually is, is farm-raised kelp from up in Connecticut, so it's completely mm. safe for anybody who has some ongoing concerns about uh, uh, ocean sea life quality so we're completely safe from that standpoint as well kelp's an amazing amazing uh i call it a food because it actually is it is a food food. yeah it is a food it's a seaweed and you can subsist on it it's got protein in it it's got b vitamins and it's it's definitely a food and you got my my i think it's a secret ingredient in here and that's cayenne i absolutely love cayenne i put it in my smoothies i put cayenne in my juices and i use it wherever i can cayenne is so stimulating great for the digestive system but also got wonderful circulatory benefits talk a little bit about cayenne and this is a uh, capsation uh, capsation anum is the technical name for for this form of cayenne and it's basically hot pepper correct that's correct uh, cayenne is a great stimulant to help enhance uh, the uh, the effect of the other herbs that are uh, blended into our extract. It's uh, going to uh, help cleanse the body. Uh, that's moreover what the function within our product is, is the cleansing agent, because so many of our bodies, whether we realize it or not, are heavily toxic, uh, heavy metals or what it may be. Uh, the cayenne is just a great cleanser for the system. And again, it's helping with circulatory issues. So that in combination with the garlic, it, they just have amazing qualities when you, they're in our product. You know, I was, I was about to say, you put garlic in a, in a few of your things and a few of your products. And garlic, in addition to being very tasty, obviously, and I, I sure. use garlic all the time, uh, has some super medicinal properties too, antifungal properties, antibacterial properties. Let's talk a little bit about garlic when we come back. We'll talk about the pain product, and then we'll talk about your male virility product. We'll do that when we come back from our break. We're talking to Tony Knutson. As- we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air with Tony Knutson from Heart and Body Extract. Hey, Tony, give out your website real quick before... Uh, sure, I'd love to. It's heartandbody.com, or H for heart and B for body, extract, hbextract.com. hbextract.com and heartandbody.com? Correct. Okay, good. All right, the book I was talking about is Left for Dead by a guy named Dick Quinn. Have you heard about this guy? Okay, I haven't, but I'm jotting you it down You should check right it out. It's... Yeah, you should check it out because it's, it's kind of an older book, and it's hard to find. Uh, Dick Quinn was a uh, – this is way before anybody knew about uh, cholesterol and cholesterol-lowering drugs. And he wrote it, I think, in the late 70s, uh, wow, early 70s. he was 70s. on the cutting edge at that point. He was very much on the cutting edge, and he discovered – and I think he was an advertising executive – and he discovered Hawthorne on his own. And it's kind of a, a neat little testimonial, personal testimonial about the importance of using herbs and using good nutrition for taking care of the circulatory system. All right, so we uh, left off talking about cayenne. It's stimulating and it also has uh, some uh, purifying benefits and kelp and, uh, and garlic as well. I absolutely love garlic. I like multifunctionality, and that's one of the neat things that we get when we, uh, when we use herbs. Last thing I want to talk about real quick on heart and body, and then we'll move to uh, the male virility product and the pain extract. Talk, talk a little bit about mistletoe. Most folks have heard about mistletoe, obviously, from Christmas time, but actually mistletoe has got some tremendous medicinal properties as well, right? It, it absolutely does. And uh, the big uh, misnomer out there is that mistletoe is uh, uh, toxic or dangerous to you, but it, it's the parts of the mistletoe that you have to use that are the good parts of it uh, that can be extremely beneficial in lowering your blood pressure. A lot of people don't know that, that mistletoe is edible, and it, it, it's very good at lowering blood pressure. Uh, it, 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 it concentrates on the central arteries in the brain, um, so it, and as you relax those blood vessels, the rest of the blood vessels relax as well. There's more blood vessels 
in your brain than anywhere else inside your whole entire body. You also use mistletoe in your pain extract, and obviously pain, if you had to pick one problem that people have to deal with, miserable problem that people have to deal with that they want to eliminate it, obviously it's going to be pain. And you also use mistletoe in your pain, uh, the pain extract formula. Talk a little bit about mistletoe for pain. Well, mistletoe, again, it's, it has a relaxing quality to it. And what happens is when people are st stressed due to pain, whether it's a, uh, a mild trauma situation or an ongoing uh, debilitating pain that we have a lot of our clients deal with from uh, osteoporosis or uh, just overall sore uh, joints, uh, whether it's the knees or the uh, elbows or whatever it is, uh, the, the relaxing, it has a relaxing calming effect and that in conjunction um, with the with the ginseng again, it it uh, it just it really helps into calming things down. Um, it, when we talk about uh, mistletoe, it works very very well again with valerian. I'm sure everybody's very common with melatonin, but valerian is actually a very soothing on the nervous system as well. And then the white willow. That is uh, for the asp or the uh, salicylic acid content, I assume. Yeah, it's for inflammation. It's an, it's we'll call it it's a, it's it's a nature's aspirin for us. Very nice, very nice. And then I've been hearing a lot about hops. I noticed you put hops in the product too, and I've been hearing a lot about it as a nice kind of relaxing ingredient. Same idea, anti uh, uh, anti anxiety, anti irritation, that sort of thing. Exactly. I was just going to hit on the word irritation because, it, as we all know, if we're in pain, we're not the most uh, pleasant people to be around. Uh, if you ever been around somebody with a toothache or something, right. I don't think that they're quite up for a casual conversation. So it's definitely very soothing for irritability, nervous situations, uh, intestinal problems. People will get uh, very sidetracked and worrying about uh, the pain that they're involved in. They can start to create other problems within their body. So that's very relaxing for that. And again, with, and also with the skull cap too, um, it's extremely good at calming down the nervous system. One thing I will say about um, the skull cap is a lot of people that do uh, fairly regimented workout activities can really benefit from it as well. As a, um, because of its anti-inflammatory property? Yeah, from its anti-inflammatory property. Properties, absolutely. How about for sleep? Would it, seems like some of these would have uh, some of these herbs would help people relax, not only to relax but also help them fall asleep. Yeah, absolutely. Back to the valerian, I, I would suggest anybody who has sleep difficulties, uh, if it's in conjunction with some other issues that they're dealing with, especially the crowd we deal with is not uh, not all, but predominantly fifty plus. And we all know when we hit fifty, we start to hurt in a little bit of real estate we didn't know we owned. And uh, uh, the valerian is very, very soothing to help you get a restful night of sleep. And uh, uh, it, it, the more restful your sleep, the more time your body has to relax. Your blood vessels have a chance to relax. Uh, relaxed blood vessels equal better circulation, lower blood pressure, just a better overall overall stabilization of the body itself. And then you put a really interesting herb that you don't see in a lot of products, it's something called lobelia. Tell us, I, we used to use lobelia, lobelia in the pharmacy to help people who are trying to quit smoking. Tell us a little bit about lobelia. Well, uh, the, the lobelia, again, it's a relaxant. It's going to help relax the muscles when you're in pain. And it, 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 it has its synergistic quality as well when it's blended with other herbs is where it really stands out of, among itself. Uh, and it, by itself, it needs a little bit of help. So that's why it's incorporated in our product. But when it really shines is when it's mixed with uh, the valerian and the wild lettuce. Okay, so now we go from relaxing to exciting. And so we'll talk uh -huh. a little bit about <laughs> the male virility extract. I noticed you put uh, you put two different types of ginseng in there. You got the Korean ginseng and you got the American ginseng. Tell us about the difference between those ginseng. Also, you have the Siberian ginseng in there too. So you got three different kinds of ginseng. Tell us about the difference. Tell us about ginseng a little bit. First of all, it's a super important herb, especially for for uh, for male kinds of things, uh, sexual virility and and muscle building and stuff like that. But also, uh, tell us about the first of all about ginseng and then the differences. In the, in the different types of ginseng, why you put all three in there? Well, ginseng in, in and of itself, whether we're talking uh, with the Korean or the American or the Fengu Greek, uh, they're, they're all 
kind of geared towards the same thing, and that's balancing the endocrine system. And when you can do that, it naturally for men, it's going to increase their, cell, their sex drive. And it actually will help with females as well. Uh, it's a good overall body cleanser. Uh, so, we, again, it mixed with the other herbs. Yeah, people have to remember the way we blend our herbs together, the synergy of the herbs put together is what makes everything work. It's not just the one in particular. It's how they all work together. Great. Yes, exactly. It's it, you, We could take it, it again back to the previous statement I made. We, we could take these uh, herbs individually and have some benefit, but can you imagine when we put the ones together that work best together, uh, that the the results that we get are pretty amazing. Uh, same with the sarsaparilla. It's going to build the testosterone level. A lot of aging males lose their testosterone, so uh, I crack up a little bit when I see these commercials on TV and they're claiming pie in the sky things, which you can actually achieve on your own very, very cost effectively if you just know where to, what herbs will work and how they work together. So it's a lot of, a lot of research goes into it. We've done all the research for everybody. How soon can somebody expect results? Say from, let's take the, the, uh, heart, uh, the heart and body product. How soon can people start to notice beneficial effects for their circulatory system? Sure. The, the heart and body extract, when we deal with circulatory issues, uh, when people ha- are suffering from edema or extreme swelling in their lower extremities, uh, that's usually a scenario in the 30 to 45 days they can definitely start to feel relief, especially if people listening know that by the time they climb the top step, they feel like their legs are tied to a couple of cinder blocks. That's just very, very painful, debilitating. Um, so from that standpoint, uh, from, uh, from a very, very short period, angina, I've, over the years we found we have the best results with angina patients in as little as four to five days coming off their nitroglycerin. That's amazing in itself right there. That is uh, a lot of people with on nitro have just resigned themselves to this. It's just the way life's going to be. It's going to be miserable, and they put up and deal with it. They don't have to do that. Uh, congestive heart failure, people start to feel relief in a very, very short period of time, usually 30 to 45 days again, and that's the removing the, flu, the, the decrease of the fluid surrounding the chest cavity around the heart. It's it's strengthening the heart muscle as it's working. The stronger the heart muscle is, the more blood it's going to pump, the better the circulation is going to be. When we deal with clogged arteries, we've completely reversed blocked arteries in under a year's period of time. So blocked arteries is a longer uh, case scenario, say with unbalanced cholesterol, but the benefits can start to be seen in a very, very relatively short period of time. Uh, High blood pressure, we've turned that around for numerous clients over the years, numerous, how, how within long? 30 days. That's so, awesome. And, That's awesome. And it's amazing for people. People just don't realize how good they used to feel before they went on to some of these drugs. And they start to remember after they can slowly start taking that little blood pressure pill and start to break it in half and break it into a third and start to get to the point where they're just not even taking it. The doctors, I've told this Tony, on a daily basis, t- doctors say, I don't know what Tony, you're doing, but we're running out of, keep Tony, doing bro, it. we're out of time. I want to I want to get your website out, heartandbodyextract.com, heartandbodyextract.com. Thank you so much, Tony. Appreciate Thanks, it. Didn't ben, mean to cut you off. appreciate your time today. God bless you, my friend. That was Tony Knudsen from Heart and Body Extract. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you.